what happened with gay news is that uh, Robert Palmer had gone on um, one of the very early business courses. Robert Palmer was? He was the managing editor of Gay News. He was Dennis Lemon's second-hand man. And um, Gay News, by that point, owned its own freehold, an escalating asset in uh, West Kensington, and was extremely robust, large sums of money in the bank and uh, with a very strong future, absolutely no problems of any kind. But Dennis Lemon, who I think felt guilty about owning gay news, it was because he was the survivor of the original three or four people. Um, these things, when they're started off the street and in unrecorded uh, beginnings and unlegalized situations, I think people can feel, uh, you know, they're not quite sure. I don't think Dennis ever felt that he really owned gay news. But um, Dennis wanted to move on to greater things. At one point, I seem to remember that he, was, he thought he was going to direct films or produce films going to Hollywood. Um, but rather than put this incredibly... Uh, Absolutely no bills, huge, you know, large sums of money, good freehold, uh, up for sale in an open market where I believe that uh, all the major publishers would have loved to have bought the thing and develop it. There would have been gay guides, gay cookery, gay... Uh, it would just have gone on forever and ever. Uh, he allowed Robert Palmer to talk him into... Uh, an internal buyout. Um, this was probably within the first year of the new law introduced by Maggie Thatcher where uh, internal business uh, buyouts were allowed. And I think the intention of that uh, law was so that either a group of directors or, and I think they meant the whole uh, staff of a place, could buy their own business and use the assets of the business as the purchasing uh, power for clinching the deal. But Robert Palmer uh, did this entirely on his own for himself. Um, he's supposed at a later point to have said that he didn't want to open this up to the whole staff of Gay News because you couldn't, you know, what would we do about the lesbians? E.g., you know, would you trust radical political women uh, to knuckle down to uh, uh, commercial priorities and things? And um, uh, <clears throat> we, this, hap this happened, Dennis Lemon left the business. But as we got to learn the nature of the deal, um, we uh, became more and more truculent and uh, annoyed. Um, and we discovered that the deal was that the freehold was sold, that was £74,000, and then Dennis was to be paid £20,000 per annum for the next five years from the profits of Gay News. Gay News moved into rented accommodation, which was quite nice, it happened to be near a Fleet Street, uh, just beside the Guardian. Um, but we realised that the power was in the staff, in the hands of the staff, because uh, if the paper didn't make uh, enough profit from which the twenty thousand pound was going to uh, be paid to Dennis Lemon, um, the deal was null and void. And so we kicked up a mess and. Uh, didn't cooperate and the paper didn't make its profit and uh, the, the payment to Dennis Lemon was uh, not forthcoming. So Dennis Lemon returned to ownership of Gay News and Robert Palmer left. Uh, and by, but Dennis was in no mental state of uh, being able to run Gay News at that point and uh, there were no, uh, we didn't own our own freehold. The staff was largely uh, uncooperative, 
Dennis Lemon couldn't sort out things on his own and the thing dwindled uh, and uh, stopped. So that's my version of the story. I think it's uh, slightly more accurate and uh, politically uh, uh, astute or uh, factually correct than even the book by, Den by Andrew Lumberston and uh, Gillian Hanscom. Do you think if Gainey's hadn't collapsed and closed, it would have survived in today's market? Absolutely. Uh, exactly like Private Eye, which is extremely um, profitable and uh, completely unchanged, and for all I can see is still done on the cut and paste method. Um, and the Stage magazine is another uh, profitable uh, newspaper. It owns a nice little freehold in Bermondsey. Um, Things survive when things are wanted. Gay news will always be wanted. Uh, things will not be provided by the rest of the world that gay people wish to see and read. Uh, there are several free magazines, but they simply do not um, provide anything that I'm remotely interested in. And, uh, you know, no proper theatre reviews, book reviews thought pieces about uh, the world and things like that. And could you see yourself working for Gay News? I would have happily worked for Gay News for the rest of my life. Um, I would have loved to have been. Uh, I'm uh, very keen on the cooperative movement and uh, I think I spent about six or nine months exploring uh, cooperative ownership. I can't remember if that was, it must have been during that period uh, of Robert Palmer and before Dennis Lemon came back because I remember going to the Islington Cooperative Agency and asking for advice and I just know that um, if the 20 people who were on the staff at Gay News had been uh, cooperative owners of Gay News as indeed the legislation was in, uh, written to encourage as far as I can see we would have survived exactly like Peter Jones and John Lewis's. Uh, I'd like to say the co-op, except the co-op is in rather bad difficulties with its co-op bank. But uh, long live the co-op movement, as far as I'm con concerned. People enjoy working uh, on a cooperative basis. They take pleasure in the jobs they do, and they enjoy the rewards that they make uh, themselves.